Let's get started. We're on the second category, Appearance HTML. Let's all click on the background. And now you want to find a background color of your liking. Doesn't matter what color you choose, but we do not want to leave it white. So find something of your liking. Again, you don't have to choose the color that I do. You may want to play with it here uh, and just find something that works for you. Now we're going to have to place text on this background, so we want to find something, a color that uh, will work with some color of text. It doesn't have to be, more than likely you probably will have black or white text, but we want to be mindful of that we are going to add some items to this one. Play with your tones here and make adjustments as I am doing so to find something that is pleasing. Then once you have it, you click back onto the panel. And then you can go ahead and choose the color of your text if you'd like to do so. I'll choose white. And then I'm going to apply those changes. Then click on OK. Now before we take a look at it, I see that some changes have been made here to my HTML code. Take a look on line 8. Now we know from what we've done already in terms of our simple web page structures that the content to be shown on an HTML page is within the body of the code. Remember, HTML opens on here, it's line 2, it closes on line 10. My body starts on line 8 and within the body here, I don't have any text just yet because my required pages is of my title, BG color equal quotations hashtag or number sign Look, I'm hovering over the code for that color and it appears. And then I'm saying that uh, based on the code, I want this to be of the text. And here I'm hovering over it and now I can see the color. And just uh, a little enlightenment is that when we previously used CS6 and CS5, Creative Suite 5 and 6, the software was not nearly as sophisticated as it is today in terms of being able to hover over the code of a color of text and it appears this is pretty smart. Now I have included some changes. I'm going to hold down the command key in the alphabet S to save and now let's take a look at um, the colors that we have here. I'm going to split the mode and I see it. Now you may say well where's the text? I haven't typed anything remember but I can already see the color that I've chosen. This is one that I like so I'm gonna keep it and then we'll keep going. 